what should we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. There is a link in the bio to several decks that I've designed and also for private readings. But in the meantime, what should we ask the tarot today? What blessings in love can I expect within the next three months? Can you believe that we are in the last three months of the year? Let's have a look how this year is going to wrap up. Spirit, for the viewer, what blessings and love can they expect within the next three months, please? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have hope, oneness, brighter future, essence, and clarity. The lead up to the end of the year is going to be beautiful. If you have been a little unsure of what comes next for you and your person, there will be greater clarity. I feel that with the combination of the hope card, the clarity card and the brighter future card, that there will be some decisions for you both to be looking at. You'll be looking at what it is that you're wanting to create for the coming year and making plans to achieve that. There may be celebrations of what you have both achieved this year and then doubling down on that for this coming year of 2024. The combination of this oneness and essence card is so magnificent. There is this feeling of being one body, mind and soul. So as I look at these cards, it feels like there is a lot of planning over the next three months for what is yet to come and a recognition and celebration of what you have already accomplished together. You'll be looking at your desires and dreams and moving forward with greater clarity. Let's move to Tarot. Spirit for the viewer, what blessings in love can they expect within the next three months, please, to close out the year? To close out the year, what blessings? Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knave of Chalices, the Empress, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Devil card, and the King of Cups. So yes, first, there are some decisions to be made by the end of the year. And these two cards very much indicate that there is an offer by the end of the year, something secure. The cups are all about love and emotion. So there is an outpouring of love, a love that has grown magnificent from the knave right up to the king of cups. This love has never been taken for granted. But now can you see how the cup is raised? It is even above his crown. This is elevated and prioritized. The king, who is usually seated, is on his feet, ready to take action. This may have taken a long time in coming. The Knight of Pentacles is one of the slowest moving cards of the deck. However, it is also consistent, constant, steady, grounded energy. This is speaking of dedication and reliability. And this is being offered to you. Do you see the little glass ball in the Empress's hand? This could be something that you have predicted for yourself. You have felt and seen this in your future. You will be revered, spoiled and adored. The Devil card in this particular deck is so interesting. Predominantly what I see is busyness and it feels rather chaotic. Nothing within this illustration really goes together. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why this has progressed quite slowly. Maybe there is this love and this oneness that you have for each other, because that most certainly is the case. And the stumbling block has been the busyness and chaos around either you or your person. Something that needs to be looked at and sorted first. It doesn't feel like your relationship is chaotic at all. It feels like your relationship is very beautiful. This card couldn't have any more different energy than these gorgeous cards that have come out. 
which speak of pure love and happiness and so many wonderful emotions towards one another. You are each other's wish fulfillment, and it feels like your future most definitely holds celebrations. I am noticing face up on my deck is cutting cords, and as I look at the two cards together, this is how it feels. It feels like there needs to be a cutting of cords from either people or trimming down workloads. Really sifting and sorting what is in your highest alignment now, both you and your person, and simplifying this in order to move forward. So for the next three months, what I see is a release from any distractions as to why you cannot be together and have a look at what goals that you wish for the future. Tying up loose ends in order to move to a very beautiful and bright future ahead. If you would like to learn what blessings are coming to you within the next three months, all of my readings are now open. We are coming up to the very special 1010 portal. I did have 20 readings available on this upcoming 1010 energy, but only two are remaining. You can find links to all of my readings in the bio.